This Gold Coast era mansion recently celebrated its 100th birthday. Originally named Eagle's Nest in Centerport, this Moroccan-style mansion was the summer home of William K. Vanderbilt II. It wasn't much of a mansion 100 years ago. It was an escape, a four-room escape. Willie was basically driven out of his real mansion in Lake Success, and he came here to be alone. So this is the beginning of his life, uh, shall we say, a new life. His wife had left him, and he's starting over. So the significance of this mansion is, is that it grows with his life and his family. As he marries and has children, he adds wings. It's a story. The house looks big and finished, but it really is a story of a man. And that's what we need to get out of it, is that people lived here, they grew, they weren't all just Vanderbilt, they were people. It's just a great night. It's uh, 100 years ago, 1910, uh, Mr. Vanderbilt you know, closed on his property and made a museum. And it was his mansion, his house, and it's just a, uh, and when he passed away, his will, he left this event in Suffolk County. And he's, uh, as a trustee of the museum, it's our job to make sure his legacy and commitment to the environment, the marine environment, continues. And uh, tonight, it's a great turnout. Uh, we're just very honored and happy that a number of people turned out tonight from Huntington all over across Long Island to support this event. And we just, uh, it's, you know, my job and my commitment to uh, make sure Mr. Vanderbilt's legacy uh, continues. And it's just a great night and we're honored to be here tonight. And uh, I just thank everyone here tonight who, uh, who uh, come here tonight to help us out. You don't find this anywhere else in the world. They can't build them anymore and this is it. This is our history. This is our past. This is our heritage. And it's our responsibility to ensure that this maintains itself for our future generations. My child, Kyle, his children, his children, his children. They come in 50 years from now, and I'm standing here and say what a great legacy this is. This is what it's all about. Mr. Vanderbilt, thank you so much for what you did for this country and uh, donating. He donated a yacht, the Alva, to the war effort. I know that or not, but World War II, he donated his yacht to the effort to the war to help our country. So. This guy was a phenomenal gentleman, what he did. He started NASCAR. You NASCAR fans out there, this guy started NASCAR. Think about it. First road race in the country on the Motor Parkway. He started it. Started it all, right here at, in Centerport. So I ask everyone to come here, check us out. This is an awesome place. We have a lot to offer, our history, and bring your kids. The kids will love it. The Vanderbilt Museum's executive director says this is a great opportunity to recognize this historic milestone. We're very excited tonight to not only celebrate 100 years of Willie K. Vanderbilt, but um, 60 years of the Suffolk County Vanderbilt Museum. The centennial dinner to celebrate the mansion's 100th birthday was held on September 25th. The event was also a chance to recognize many of the people who have helped keep the museum's doors open through these tough economic times. Board of Trustees Director Noel Gish says that this year has been a particularly challenging year for the museum. The idea for tonight really came about from the fact that we wanted to do something special for the centennial celebration uh, of Vanderbilt's, uh, of Vanderbilt's um, operation here in Centerport. Uh, and we wanted to honor somebody that we felt uh, had contributed uh, mightily to that effort, and that was John Cooper. John Cooper has been a legislator in the 18th District here in Huntington and over the last 12 years has been one of the giant supporters of the Vanderbilt's educational mission. Um, he's a remarkable individual uh, who is not only a majority leader of the legislature, uh, but has championed a number of programs for the Vanderbilt. Um, the cell tower project uh, and also looking uh, at the Vanderbilt from an educational point of view, trying to uh, access this and make this one of the premier uh, educational institutions for enrichment in Suffolk County. Well, look, it's a very special occasion. Uh, the centennial of the Vanderbilt Museum, the crown jewel of the Suffolk County Museum System, and a tremendous honor for me to be the honoree. I love the Vanderbilt, um, and I've been doing whatever I can over the past 10 years to make sure that it's on a strong financial footing. Uh, when you consider the, the historic underpinnings of the, the Vanderbilt and the, the, the Long Island history that took place on these grounds, um, this, this can't be lost to future generations. This is uh, a, a tremendously important resource, 
not just for this generation, but for future generations. Uh, there's nothing like it uh, in Suffolk County. Uh, so it's uh, critically important that we do whatever is necessary to preserve this institution. Uh, and there are thousands of school kids that come through these grounds every year. Um, and we need to keep this as a resource. And that will happen. I, I think that this is the year that things will finally turn around. I think that they'll be, uh, uh, have very strong financial underpinnings um, going into 2011. So uh, I see nothing but good times ahead for the Vanderbilt. For more information on the Vanderbilt Museum or to find out about upcoming events, you can check out their website at vanderbiltmuseum.org. And Centerport, Chris Kalor reporting.